At the Capitol, tens of millions of dollars meant to prevent the next school shooting and keep away other threats will finally be distributed at the end of the week. That's according to an internal email sent by the next speaker of the Oklahoma House to state lawmakers. In a strongly worded legally binding opinion, Oklahoma Attorney General Gintner Drummond said State Superintendent Ryan Walters delay in distributing these funds hopefully doesn't put children in danger. Millions of dollars in state funds dedicated to preventing the next school shooting has been sitting unspent and in limbo for more than a year. Now, according to this email sent out by incoming Speaker of the House, State Representative Kyle Hilbert, he has been guaranteed by State Superintendent Ryan Walters the funds will go out by the end of the week. State lawmakers passed a bill last year after the school shooting at a Nashville private school that would open up funds, especially to rural districts throughout the state to help them hire school resource officers and buy other tools to help them prevent similar tragedies from happening in Oklahoma. $50 million to be given out each year for three years. This year is year two of the program. But earlier this month, lawmakers were contacted by districts saying the State Department of Education was refusing to release the unspent funds, saying it was meant to be spent last year, and OSDE wasn't sure if it could roll over. Despite state lawmakers insisting the funds be released and saying their legislation allowed for it, State Superintendent Ryan Walters asked the Attorney General to make sure the funds were still good. Attorney General Gintner Drummond released an expedited, legally binding opinion chewing out Walters for withholding these funds, saying in part, quote, those wasted months have resulted in school districts not receiving millions of dollars in funds they could have used to bolster security and protect students. I pray that your failure to deploy these funds does not result in deadly consequences. He went on to say the department also advised school districts that their funds were available for carryover throughout the three-year program period, but arbitrarily without notice, reversed course, and zeroed out the district balances. And finally this. This opinion corrects the department's mismanagement that prevented school districts from receiving an equal distribution of program fund and an error that, in Superintendent Walter's own words, concerns and puts at risk the safety of school children. These misspent funds were one of the allegations of misconduct brought against Walters when a group of House Republicans asked the Speaker of the House to start an investigation into any wrongdoing against Walters last week. Here are, once again, those allegations of misconduct. Denying lawmakers their legal right to sit in on State Board of Education executive sessions despite clear instructions from the Attorney General. Refusing to respond to subpoenas for documents asked for by the State Senate Education Committee. Failure to use school security dollars as appropriate, what we just talked about. Failure to disclose how he is using state taxpayer dollars for travel across the country. Failure to comply with Oklahoma's open records and open meetings laws on multiple occasions. And failure to use state funds as appropriate to put emergency inhalers in public schools. You'll remember on Friday, Walter says his hands are clean and he dared the House of Representatives to start impeachment proceedings against himself back on Friday. We don't need to wait. We do not need to wait on a loft committee. We do not need to wait on an investigation. It is time to start the proceedings immediately. The Speaker wants to impeach me for political advantage in the 2026 governor's race. So then let's start the impeachment proceedings. Walter says when it comes to school security money, the legislature passed vague language. He says he has asked state lawmakers to clarify, and he wanted them to do so during the previous legislative session that wrapped up in May. He did not address the accusatory tone of Drummond's opinion, but said he plans to follow it and distribute out the funds quickly without further delay. He also told Fox 23 in an interview last week, he said he was already working with the House while the letter calling for an investigation into him was made public. Obviously, impeachment proceedings didn't happen today. But there is an investigative committee being formed to look into the spending problems like the school safety funds. House Speaker Charles McCall and House Budget Chairman Kevin Wallace announced last week the formation of a new committee to investigate whether the Oklahoma State Department of Education is spending money as allocated by the state legislature in the state's budget. This is a separate committee than what was being asked for last week that some lawmakers felt was the start of impeachment proceedings against State Superintendent Ryan Walters. McCall also says the Attorney General's office needs to look into other issues outside of misspending. While there have always been complaints between activist groups and the superintendent and what clearly looks like left-wing groups at times, what has caused a rift, this new rift in between Walters and some Republican members of the legislatures is that some lawmakers have told me they now feel like they're being ignored by the Department of Education. They can't get answers to their own questions and their own frustrations have now reached a breaking point. Here is one of them, House Education Appropriations Chairman Mark McBride explaining the need for an investigation. It's time that we take the next step and uh, 
and look at this a little broader maybe, but as far as them saying investigate, there is a lot of stuff going on. They just aren't privy to it. Republican Senate pro tem Greg Treat said the bill about school safety was written clearly and should have never gotten to this point. He said in a new statement that reads in part the legislative intent was clear and should shouldn't have needed an attorney general's opinion. Regardless, the circumstances are uh, we are facing made it necessary. He went on to say, while I will let the attorney general's opinion speak for itself, I'm going to remain focused on ensuring the money to protect children is distributed to school districts as intended and immediately. Lawmakers spoke loud and clear when we pass this legislation. This is not the only thing the State Department of Education's budget that's come under the that's come under scrutiny when it comes to their budget. State lawmakers previously budgeted for all public schools to have emergency inhalers on hand and on site. But according to Republican and Democratic lawmakers I've spoken with, there are concerns the inhaler money has been treated similar to the way we just mentioned about the school security funds. That is expected to be a part of the investigation. The House will get started in the coming weeks.